Hey guys, my name is Kayla Rain, and today I'm here to update you on day two of Booktubeathon, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I have definitely stayed on track yesterday, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to stay on track today. But without further ado, let me just jump right in to see what challenges I finished and what challenges I plan to finish tonight. So the very first challenge that I completed for Booktubeathon Woo! Little party right here. I read Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, which completes the challenge, read a book you really want to read. And this was a reread for me. I loved it. I actually ended up basing my day two video challenge off of this book. I recreated a scene, more reimagined the first scene of Anna and the French Kiss, just because I love that first scene because it just sets the tone for the book, a little bit angsty, a little bit funny. I love this book. Then today I ended up reading We Should All Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and I read this on my lunch break. This is the second time I have read this. I read it immediately after I bought it last Friday and I loved it and I read it again today and I loved it again and I will probably read it again this weekend and just analyze it and just really break everything down. But this is a fantastic little essay on feminism and I think it really envelopes my feelings toward feminism. I think sometimes feminism gets such a bad rap because some people think it's about man-hating and wanting women to be better, but I think this essay just really discusses how that's not what it should be and not what it is. And then right before I made this video, I read Deadpool, Dead Presidents, and Deadpool Soul Hunter, and this goes towards my challenge of read someone else's favorite book. I will not complete this challenge until I read the third volume in this Marvel Now collection and this is my fiance's favorite thing to read, Deadpool, and I can see why. It has a lot of raunchy, um, vulgar comedy in it. Uh, I don't know that I appreciate it quite as much as he does, but it is still well written. It is very self-aware. The fourth wall is broken a couple times in these, and Deadpool makes fun of a lot of superhero tropes, and I appreciated that. So far, I'm giving both of these a three and a half out of five stars. They're good. It's a little bit different than what I was expecting, being that Spider-Man is my favorite hero. But I get a little bit of a sense of Spider-Man in here with the fantastic puns. I love puns. And my total page count for the day is 320 pages, which brings me ahead of my day's reading goal. And I will complete my Read Someone Else's Favorite Book Challenge tonight because I plan on reading the third installment of the Deadpool series, which my fiance tells me I absolutely have to read to get a good feel for Deadpool. Also that the third volume is his favorite out of all of them, so I kind of had to work my way up to that one anyway. Staying on track, doing pretty well, and hopefully I will be successful in Booktubeathon. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you guys are doing. Um, and just remember, if you feel like you're a little bit behind, we still have so much time. It's just day two. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing awesome. And I'm excited to check in with you guys again on Thursday because remember tomorrow I'm uploading my Top 5 Wednesday video. Probably won't have a video update for tomorrow, so I will just see you guys on Thursday with more booktubeathon type awesome stuff. Alright, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay weird!